You just bathe. Goes with your own spaceship. <laughs> you just have to speculate. Peace, fam. Yo, <laughs> Yo peace to the comms. Peace to the comms. Okay. How y'all doing? Hey, you good as ass, Mook. You know what it is. What, what, what's your question for us today, bro? Well, I have uh, the the brother was the brother that got on last was very intriguing about the hollow moon. I you also have a pop- about the hollow moon. I I do know about the hollow moon. In fact, in in fact, to intrigue you more, I was there because I actually have full memory of my past lives. What the, the hollow moon is actually a secret layer of the grays, mm-hmm. and. It's not only home of the Greys, but the Chita- but uh, but there's an there's a um, celestial race there known as the Chitari, the Chitari, mm. which are lords of the Zulu tribe, who actually who are actually the reason why Shaka Zulu was the greatest warrior in all history. The Chitari stays on the moon because this moon is actually not the real moon. The, the so-called dwarf planet Pluto actually is, and the actual name is Kingu. Okay. So the reason why no one went up to that moon is because there are glass towers and pyramids built up there. The soils of the moon is actually made of crushed asteroids and glass. And Which sand. moon is this? Is this is the the real moon Pluto, or um, the moon we call the moon now? This is the moon. This is the fake moon. With the pyramids and towers. Okay. The real moon we is f- so far away because we've been knocked out of our orbit. The orbit that we're in now is not originally our orbit. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Pluto at the time used to orbit. And no, our planet used to actually be in the same orbit as Pluto today. That's why we were able to live thousands of years at a time. And the world was a lot bigger before the great cataclysmic event between Marduk and Tiamat. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, mankind wasn't even on this planet. We were originally on Barsoom, known as Mars, where Kemet history was originated from. That's where Kemet is, com- is originated from. It's not originated from here on Earth. So, the, so all the Kemet dynasties were um, Cleopatra, King Tut, a set and a star, those are all based on Mars because even if you look on Mars and Google pyramids on Mars, they'll show you five face pyramids, faces, sculptures, even statues and sphinxes that look just like the ones on Egypt, but mm. carved in black. Mount Olympus, they tell you in Greek mythology, what is Mount Olympus? Mountain of the gods, but ain't no Mount Olympus in Greece. There's Olympus Mons on Mars, though, that's said to be the tallest mountain in the solar system. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's more of not just a mystery of of saying unless you was there. It, it starts with you. You have to study about yourself first. Never mind the ancestors and the general history you've been taught. Where do you play in history? What's your lineage? What's your archetype? You know what I'm saying? This stuff is important. This is the reason why we be on this earth and live today. We get so distracted in this time and era to focus on the here and now that we forget that time is jerical. Time is not a linear like a straight line. It's jerical like a coil. So that's where the old saying come from. The game don't change. The people do. Same thing, different era. So, so just, just, to sure, just to make sure that we are on the same track. So basically, what you're saying is the greatest value in, in knowing these things is that it helps you identify as yourself, as to like how you function and and what purpose you serve in that exactly. And, and, and that goes for any history, no matter what. Uh, exactly. Whatever it is, you need those particular elements or whatever to help you find out what elements within yourself that you bring to the table in the present day. Exactly. Learn about yourself before you learn about anything else outside of you. And that is the only way you'll actually know the true answer to all mysteries. But if you keep studying outside of yourself, it's only so much you're going to know to an extent of limit. You're going to end up keep waiting and receiving and receiving from other sources instead of investing in yourself. 
the more you know about yourself, the more you know everything else around you. Even what even what other sources can't give you. Yes, mm-hmm. it's that's, that's actually what the plot of uh, Matrix Resurrections is. Like for, for the most part, it's based on that idea that it's just it's layered on top of each other. And then what happens when you start having memories from these from these past experiences? Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what it's, uh, it's going to be about. But we got two more people we got to get in here before we run out of time. I appreciate you coming in, dropping those on us. Right yeah, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking things up right now, Jay. We'll salute you. Yeah, we gotta build some more. Oh, okay.